As the Democratic candidates took the stage at Tuesday night's debate in Des Moines, it was clear what's at stake. The final chance for these White House hopefuls to go head to head before the Iowa caucuses. This new trade deal is a modest improvement. Senator Sanders himself has said so. Progressive favorites Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren addressing the heated rhetoric between the two campaigns this week. How could anybody in a million years not believe that a woman could become president of the United States? What did you think when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> I disagreed. Meanwhile, for Joe Biden, another opportunity to focus on who he hopes will be his opponent in November, President Donald Trump. And it was predictable from the day he pulled out of that agreement, Trump, what exactly would happen. We're now isolated. Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar courting moderates, seeing a path to the nomination by focusing on centrist voters. It's going to take a view to the future, as well as the readiness, to learn from the lessons of the past. When it comes to Iraq right now, I would leave our troops there. And the sixth candidate, businessman ISIS, Tom Steyer, positioning himself as the outsider. And it's time for someone from the outside to have a strategic view about what we're trying to do and how to do it. The candidates speaking on key issues like health care. Every other major country on earth is guaranteeing health care for all. The time is long overdue. On foreign policy. What you want in a president is someone who has dealt uh, with these life and death issues and who has made decisions. And taking on Donald Trump. I am the one who has the broadest coalition of anyone running up here in this race. Right. And then we have to talk about a candidate who wasn't even on the stage, but still drew attention during the debate, but this time on Twitter. Mike Bloomberg's campaign had people raising their eyebrows with some of their tweets about Tostitos, <laughs> saying Mike can telepathically communicate with dolphins. What? It was all a tactic. Bloomberg then tweeting from his personal account, now that my team has your attention, I think it's important that you see what President Trump said to voters in Wisconsin. It included video of the president reminding people that he won the state in 2016. Bloomberg then saying battleground states like Wisconsin can decide the election this year. He is going right for Trump. He's not even wasting time with any of his Democratic contenders. He was not on stage because he, of course, is not taking any public donations.